Hi everybody, my name is Hillary and I'm going to be your lab demonstrator for the rat dissection today. So let me start with introducing the specimen that we have for you to see. Um, I have placed two rats in my dissection tray. You can see that they're quite different. One is larger than the other. Um, I also have a, a pre-dissected rat in a jar under glass. Uh, which has been uh, injected with colors uh, so that you can see um, the internal anatomy of this animal more clearly. It's too bad you can't be here in class with me today to see this, um, but I will do my best uh, to demonstrate all of the parts. Um, but let's consider um, the focus of today's dissection, and that is on the endocrine and reproductive systems. And that is why I brought out these two specimens, because one is a male and the other is a female. So let's look at the external anatomy of these two animals. Let's look at the small one first. So what do you think, male or female? Everyone thinks males are bigger generally, right? Well, not in this case. And I can verify that this is a male rat because between the hind legs, I see reproductive structures, um, including the scrotum and testes. So that's a male rat. Now look at this other one, this big, this is a female. And I know that because of course I can look in the same region and there is no scrotum or testes. That makes this one a female. Um, but what's unique about this specimen is that it's a pregnant female. That's why it's, uh, it's so large. Um, so going forward, we are going to dissect both of these and compare and contrast the endocrine and reproductive structures. So I'm going to go ahead and secure one of these animals at a time in the tray and I will begin dissecting and uh, you can follow along. So here we go. Uh, 